Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the development of Chinese semiconductor. Semiconductor materials are an important support for information technology, and their market demand continues to rise. Facing the intensified technological blockade of European and American countries, China continues to speed up the construction of the information industry, and the chip field is naturally the most important position. Electronic chips based on silicon-based materials, whether it is the underlying architecture logic or the core technology patents, are in the hands of Europe and the United States. It is difficult to break such a stable monopoly pattern, so Chinese companies have chosen to find another way. Get started with disruptive technologies and new generation semiconductor materials. Just recently, good news came from Eleven University of Posts and Telecommunications. Professor Chen Haifeng's team successfully prepared high-quality gallium oxide epitaxial wafers and successfully broke through the fourth generation of semiconductor materials. What is the use of this? Can the restrictions in Europe and the United States be changed because of this? What is the role of gallium oxide epitaxial wafers? Through the unremitting efforts of the team, China has continuously ushered in breakthroughs in the preparation of gallium oxide, from the earliest 2 inches to 6 inches, and then 11 in University of Posts and Telecommunications successfully prepared high-quality gallium oxide on 8-inch silicon wafers. Gallium oxide epitaxial wafers have fully verified China's superiority in research on ultra-wide band-gap semiconductors. High-quality gallium oxide epitaxial wafers are a newcomer among semiconductor materials. This fourth-generation semiconductor material has the advantages of high hardness, high radiation resistance, and high area uniformity, which will greatly improve the performance of electronic devices. At the same time, the research results of this new type of semiconductor material will contribute to the rapid development of China's semiconductor industry and have important global strategic significance. As a new generation of semiconductor materials, gallium oxide epitaxial wafers have better performance than silicon substrates, which are widely used at present. It mainly has the following advantages. 1. High hardness. The hardness of gallium oxide is very high, higher than that of silicon and sapphire. In this way, gallium oxide material is more durable in the process of manufacturing devices, which can reduce the failure rate and increase the life of the product. 2. Good radiation resistance. Gallium oxide has stable chemical properties and is resistant to radiation, so it can be used in high radiation environments without device failure and other problems, which is better than gallium nitride and sapphire. 3. Good uniformity. GAO epitaxial wafers have high crystallization quality and smooth surface treatment and can produce larger sized single crystal GAO epitaxial wafers, which is very important for manufacturing high precision devices. Based on the above advantages, gallium oxide epitaxial wafers will be widely used in lead, laser, energy, and new sensors and other fields. In fields such as new sensors, gallium oxide can effectively promote the sensitivity and precision of devices, while in fields such as lasers, gallium oxide can better guarantee the performance and lifespan of lasers. In short, 
Gallium oxide epitaxial wafers have a wide range of applications and will promote the development of the semiconductor industry. What is the importance of new materials to China's semiconductor industry? China's semiconductor technology level has not yet reached the world's first-class level, and there is still a big gap between China and Europe and the United States. Therefore, it is urgent to keep catching up in the field of semiconductor technology and strive to realize the independent rise of the semiconductor field as soon as possible by continuously strengthening the construction of personnel training, basic research, and industrial investment. In this era of high-speed development, the research on high-quality gallium oxide epitaxial wafers is the latest boost to the rise of China's semiconductor industry, which means that China can achieve independent research and development of integrated circuits more quickly. Moreover, the successful research of gallium oxide epitaxial wafers has also promoted the research and development of new technologies and materials in China's semiconductor industry and improve the competitiveness of China's semiconductor products. Therefore, it can be said that the emergence of gallium oxide epitaxial wafers has played an important role in promoting the development of China's semiconductor industry. Although China has produced high-quality gallium oxide epitaxial wafers, European and American countries have implemented strict import and export controls, restricting the export of this new type of semiconductor material. To some extent, this approach is understandable, but it also has a huge impact on China's semiconductor industry. It makes it more difficult for Chinese semiconductor companies that are already catching up with European and American countries. However, although the export control of European and American countries has brought difficulties to China's semiconductor industry, it also provides opportunities for China's semiconductor industry. First of all, Chinese semiconductor companies can further improve the level of semiconductor technology by strengthening basic research and technology accumulation. Secondly, we can further improve the competitiveness of China's semiconductor industry by building a local semiconductor industry chain to reduce dependence on imported products. In short, the high-quality gallium oxide epitaxial wafers produced by Lebanon University of Posts and Telecommunications will promote the development of China's semiconductor industry, thereby enhancing China's technological competitiveness in the semiconductor field. At the same time, the restrictions of European and American countries will also prompt Chinese semiconductor companies to speed up technological catch-up. Under this pressure, they will continue to improve their own strength, seize opportunities, and actively explore more new areas of semiconductor technology. What do you think of this? Thank you for your watching.